Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. Last week, I talked about aligning your decisions and your actions with your purpose and priorities. Please go back and listen to episode 22 if you haven't already done so. I promise it will be worth your time. Today, I want to talk about a scripture that has changed my entire perspective on life and my approach to life, and that is cling to what is good. Cling to what is good. More accurately, it says hate what is evil and cling to what is good, but I want to focus on the cling to what is good part because I believe it can be applied to so many life situations and challenges we face in this crazy world we live in today, where sometimes the news is really just a compilation of all the bad and scary stuff happening in the world. Rumors of war, famine, disease outbreaks, inflation, worker shortages, and the list goes on and on and on. You may have heard the expression, desperate times call for desperate measures. Well, the word cling by definition connotes desperation because it means to hold on tightly to, to have a strong emotional attachment to, or a dependence on something or someone. The word good means positive, pleasant, righteous, or morally right. So cling to what is good is essentially tightly holding on to something or someone that is positive, that's pleasant, that's righteous, or morally right. Think about how that simple yet profound directive could elevate our thinking and change our lives for the better if it were to be put into practice. You know, when dealing with a difficult person, clinging to what is good can be finding that one thing you can say about that person that's positive, that one thing may help you get along with, appreciate, or understand that person better, especially during a trying time. In a rough patch of a relationship, cling to what is good about the people you're in a relationship with while you're trying to work through that not so great aspect um, you're currently dealing with until, you know, things change for the better. If you lose your job and, or your income, cling to what is good by reminding yourself of your qualifications and focus and build on that to help you get back on your feet and to find a new job or a career. When you lose a loved one, clinging to what is good can look like, you know, reflecting on the good memories of that person, which can really help you through the grieving process as you face that difficult task of picking up the pieces and trying to go forward without their physical presence. There are so many scenarios you and I could probably think of where we could potentially turn a situation around for the better and keep our mental and emotional states healthy while going through tragedies, challenges, and difficulties in life. Clinging to what is good not only helps us get through tough times, but it can help us to give us proper perspective and ground us in the midst of things around us falling apart. So here are some ways you can navigate the ugliness of the world by practicing clinging to what is good. Turn off the news. Read something or do something inspirational. Take frequent breaks from social media and just unplug. Go out and experience nature and marvel at the beautiful world God has created. When interacting with people, see them as God does, not as they sometimes appear to be. When you make a mistake, focus on the lesson and not the error. Try to see the glass as half full rather than half empty. Keep a gratitude journal that you can refer to when you lose your way or you lose your perspective. Limit your time with negative people and refuse to participate in negative, demeaning, and demoralizing conversations. In every situation, no matter how bad it is, challenge yourself to find one good thing. One good thing. Be an encourager. The world has enough critics. You don't need to join the group of critics. They are well represented. Find something to sincerely you know, compliment someone on every day encourage someone every day say find something positive to say uh, you know be able to uh, authentically compliment someone about something every single day spread positivity do good deeds you know do pass it on challenges to, you know where you do something kind for someone and ask that, that they do the same for someone else you know michelle obama is quoted as saying when when they go low we go high 
There's a, a quote that you can't have a positive life with a negative mind. Clinging to, clinging to what is good allows you to find whatever sliver of hope you can to keep you afloat. Because life is hard and it can be really cruel at times. The Bible says in this world you will have trouble. None of us has been promised a bed of roses or, or comfort. So since life is going to happen to all of us, the best thing to do is to embrace it. And when trouble comes our way, as it will for all of us, find that one good thing, that one morally right thing, that one you know righteous thing, that one pleasant thing, that one good thing to cling to until your tide turns or until your situation changes for the better. Find that sliver of hope to keep you afloat until the storm passes, the flood waters recede, the morning comes, the tears dry up, the tide turns, or until you can exhale or smile again. Cling to what is good like your life depends on it, because one day it might. Bye for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.